Officers are out on the job. The Austin Police Department tells us more and more are reporting chronic back pain. The culprit? The heavy-duty belts that they wear around their waist. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell reports the department is looking to move away from those belts to try and help. On your back. Just look at a typical patrol officer's belt. Uh, his taser, uh, his transmitter. And you can tell he's carrying a lot of extra weight. Uh, yeah, this pepper spray over here and then a, a holder for an expandable baton. For someone like me. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. And for a patrol officer like Brandon Galloway, who wears it every day. My hips burn all the time. Mm -hmm. so. There have been several officers who have been coming forward recently uh, with back pain, chronic back pain uh, from wearing this duty belt uh, in and out of the car every day. About a dozen have recently filed ADA complaints. So the department is moving away from these duty belts to what's called an exterior load-bearing vest. It better distributes the weight of all these tools officers carry, and they'll no longer push up against pressure points on officers' backs when they sit in their patrol cars. It'll look something like this. But we don't want it to look like something that the SWAT team would wear you know, or some military unit would wear. APD is working with this vendor to make a special one that's more friendly looking and blends into officers' uniforms. We don't want people to be afraid of us. We surely don't want them to be afraid of how we look. Assistant Chief Justin Newsom says officers who've reported back pain will begin testing the new vests in about a month. APD will buy the $120 vest for anyone whose doctor has documented back pain caused by the belt. I do think there will be more officers that come forward, go to the doctor, uh, and then go through that process in order to have the vest issued. But then again, uh, a large portion of people will just buy the vest on their own um, because it benefits them. It's for their own comfort. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. APD tells us an officer's gun and taser are the only tools that will have to be left on a belt. They are more secure and easier for officers to grab quickly when they're on their waist. And this is part of a national larger push after a study by the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire results were announced just last year. 15 officers were followed for six months, half the time with the duty belt, the other half with the vest. Beforehand, officers even had their biometrics recorded so researchers could compare range of motion as well as other statistics. Officers wrote down their symptoms following each shift. The study determined no negative side effects to the vests, and even though they weighed slightly more, the shifting of the weight of the gear with the vest ultimately proved better.